welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back please subscribe watch till the end like share and drop a comment today in my topic we're going to talk about my pregnancy and labor experience so actually i carried my pregnancy normally like any other person till nine months and during my pregnancy i went for clinic visits normal clinic visits where i used to be given iron tablets and some yellow ones which i'm not sure they were for what i never asked um and there also an there was also an umbrella that's a midwife who used to look after me at home used to look at how the pregnancy is going that's my baby's that's my baby's great grandmother yeah so when i was almost due some series of tests were done on me including checking on hb screening tb checking on the hiv status and also checking on my blood group which were all done in the same hospital i used to go for clinic visits and there were foods that i liked and there were those that i didn't like the foods that i liked included um merenda apple <laughs> Then those chapo, I've always loved chapati. Um, I still love chapati. And gideri for breakfast, I love gideri. So I've never loved gideri because I have issues with my teeth. Mandazis, I didn't like them. Bread, meat, they are foods I just didn't like. And I eat lots, lots of chapo. So I also remember... During those clinic visits, a nurse came. She was the one filling my clinic book. Then um, she said my she did her calculations and said my EDD expected due date will be on twentieth, twentieth April. But then when I went for scanning, scanning said uh, my EDD will be on tenth. So my younger sister came earlier. To be with me when it was around 10th of april she came to be with me i think they thought the baby would be out already but uh, the baby didn't want out <laughs> so i started receiving calls from home bad bad saying just relax it it normally comes two weeks earlier or two weeks later so i was just hanging in there but i was really exhausted already I was so exhausted already. Um, and then, so on 20th, at around 4.56, I was seated somewhere near the gate, just relaxing. I felt some water seeped out. Then I rushed and called my mother. I told her, what happens when the water breaks? She told me, to, the water will be coming out, but kidogo kidogo with some crumbs. I just like the normal cramps girls usually feel, but as time goes by, they become extensive, deep, deep, crucial pain. So, um, came night at around 7 p.m. Some family friend came to pick me and Baba Taraji and my sister. But before we left to the hospital, my mother in law prayed for me. And then we left. We were also rushing so that curfew is to bad danger. You remember those were curfew days. Yeah, those were corona days. So we were rushing. Curfew is to bad danger. So, um, everyone who had taken me to the hospital was denied entry. Only the Bataraji was allowed in. So my sister had to wait outside in the waiting room and we waited. We waited just for a file to be opened for me. We really waited until 9 p.m. That's when I was attended to and given a bed. That's, yeah, that's when I was attended to and given a bed to rest on. Then at that 9 p.m., the doctor was in charge, the nurse, took me in for to measure. 
how much I did, how far I dilated. It was only three centimeters the long thing. Then he took it, he put in some metallic stuff. Then Nikaskia Vitoboa. Then water just gushed out, which is not supposed to be the case. Otherwise, then it would mean God would, would not have had to punish us to labor in vain. You know? That water is supposed to come out for the poly as the baby is struggling to come out. That water should also be seeping out to the liquid. So this guy, a little boy, you imagine. Hey, then he told me you should be you should give back by around eight eight hours a day. So I went back and relaxed. He told me we'll be measuring the relation again at one pm. If I figure one pm, he's not even coming to measure it. Hey, I'm going to tell you that we're going to one pm. I'm going to figure. I'm going to don't worry. Go and relax and cool. Hey, then I went back. Arapima. I uh, dilated five centimeters now. I he told me end up tembe tembe and do squats. Something I did not know at you're only supposed to do squats when you feel contractions. So I did squats and we walked to you know general hospital soon. There's a maternity opportunity la for NB. So I was walking here, you can ramp down, walking down, and then down there also walking. I'm walking in within the facility up on maternity ward. I'm squatting. I got tired. Me, I went to sleep. I couldn't even sleep. Contractions were increasing with the time. And then as contractions are also increasing, you feel like peeing. When you go to the toilet, it just drops. I, I walked to the toilet so many times. <laughs> so, so many times. So by the time we went to Africa, Subui, there are these new nurses now. When you wanna relieve while you are sick, around 9 p.m. That doctor came. <sighs> and but I was I was tired. We went up to the delivery room. We went up to your bed, yeah. Then he asked me, "Hey, mommy, badu? I am very badu. We went up to the small room. We are showing the pima kapata. We are delayed. Sasa eight centimeters." I can be a pana boy. Who will cause a boss go Michelle? And a full acach for a can be a bullet at a pambanion. He had told me to put cotton on the coaching and be able to a pambanion. Then I just showed him the pamba like this. He was like, No, this is third grade meconium, which means he didn't even tell me what it means. I came to learn later at the baby and for me to book pong. So I had to be booked. He said, book her for emergency CS. So I was booked in for emergency CS at that point. And there's no one with me. Nilikuwa nimebaki peke yangu kumbuka kafi. Those guys had to beat kafi wali rugi nyumbani. Na the next day walikuwa nyingia job. So I was all by myself. So I signed the consent all by myself. Then they took blood sample. Their labs were not working. Your time my doctor pia walikuwa mego. So they took my blood sample. They had to test again blood group and when Mwambia it's A, blood group A is as positive. They had to go and Pima again. I also took Pima HB. Then they changed my cavita. I had already been put in on a cavity. They changed that cavita. And then they put drips of water on me. Drips, I lost the number of pounds zilikuwa mingi and then they were making me to shiver I was shivering a lot I'm asking them what's in this what's in this water and they were not even telling me but the more they put drips the, the, then I started feeling those contractions again it's like the baby had started playing again she had gone silent like when I'm um, but she was just tired but after that those drips the baby became active again. So, um, so that they started processing my CS at um, 11, around 11.42. Uh, after the test results were out, 
So I was taken to the theater. So the test results are out in the Pelego theater. If you want to know more about what happened to the theater, what happened at the theater, kindly watch my next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.